Now we're making vanilla sheet cake with grilled strawberries on top. This is the perfect summer barbecue recipe. First of all, it's easy to make. You can make it ahead of time. It's easy to transport, and I think it's just so light and fruity and just perfect for a warm summer day. It sounds so good. It reminds me of shortcake, but yes. with a few little twists. Exactly. So in this recipe, we're actually featuring Kingsford charcoal to grill the strawberries and Simple Truth organic vanilla extract for the cake. Now, all the ingredients in this recipe are listed below. You can find them at your local Kroger family stores, which is Fry's in Arizona. Hey guys, it's Tessa from HandleTheHeat.com. And Alex. And Sonia from A Couple Cooks. Welcome to our summer barbecue series. We are so excited to be teaming up together and with Kroger, your one-stop shop for summer entertaining. And we are whipping up healthy real food recipes from a couple cooks. With delicious baked treats from Handle the Heat. So let's go ahead and dive on in. So we're gonna get started with the sheet cake. And it's a Texas style sheet cake, so it's kind of a weird, unique process. What it's does gonna that mean, feel Texas style. It's, it means you're gonna be so confused and you're gonna feel <laughs> so wrong as you're making it, but I promise it'll turn out. All right, so now we're gonna get started with the dry ingredients. So I weighed out my flour, it's just all purpose flour. And you're actually going to add the sugar in now. So just granulated sugar. Next up is baking soda and just a touch of salt. Now can I whisk that, that, that up yes. for you? Okay, that's perfect. So we're gonna set aside the dry ingredients. And this recipe is interesting because you don't cream the butter and sugar together at all, which is why we added the sugar in with the other dry ingredients. So the next step is actually to get to the stove to melt down some of the liquid ingredients. So in the saucepan here, it's set over medium high heat, I'm actually going to add two sticks of unsalted butter and then a cup of water. All right, so after it comes to a boil, you just pull it off the heat and then we're actually going to add in the dry ingredient mixture. So after it's mixed up, you wanna let it cool until it's not quite so warm before we add in the eggs because we don't want them to scramble. Can you over mix it in this step? I know some batters say don't yeah, over mix. You can, um, but this one you don't really have to worry about it too much because there's basically no way this recipe can come out dry or tough. It's so crazy moist. <laughs> because of that water yes, that we added yeah. earlier. Yeah, and just the method that's used. Okay, so this is cool enough now to add in the rest of the ingredients. So I'm gonna add in some buttermilk. And why do you use buttermilk, not milk? Buttermilk has a thicker, more flavorful, tangy thing happening with it. And I actually tested side by side biscuits and muffins using buttermilk versus regular milk. And there is a huge noticeable difference. That's so interesting. It like makes things more tender and flavorful, and it really is worth using real buttermilk, not the DIY kind that you can make. I was just gonna ask you about that. Yeah. So milk with a little bit of lemon juice. It's I've tried that before. It doesn't same. work. No, okay. not for Good for some know. baking recipes. Yeah, it's worth getting the real thing. Next up are two large eggs. And you can go ahead and add them right in and give it a stir. I always like to use room temperature eggs when baking so that they add into the batter more evenly. Okay, and then while you're stirring that, I'm also going to add a generous amount of vanilla <laughs> extract because this is vanilla sheet cake. Okay, that's perfect. The batter is done. This is super easy. You don't even need a mixer for this part. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a jelly roll pan. This is a greased, buttered, <laughs> 10 by 15 inch pan. You can also use a sheet pan. The cake will just be a little bit thinner. So this will go in a 375 degree oven for about 23 minutes. If you're using a sheet pan instead of a jelly roll pan, just shave a few minutes off that baking time. You want a toothpick to come out very clean. So while we patiently wait for the cake to cool, we're going to make the whipped cream topping. So it's super simple, just three ingredients. If you wanna add the heavy cream to the mixer, you wanna be sure to use heavy whipping cream that's going to whip up and get nice and fluffy. And then I'm going to add some powdered sugar. And then lastly, the vanilla extract. A generous amount again. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you wanna whip that on medium high to high speed until firm peaks form. Okay, it looks like we have some stiff peaks. Let's double check. Yes, nice and stiff. Look at that. You wanna take a little taste? Yes, please. You want to be sure to use cold cream. That's going to give you a nice fluffy whipped cream. So now we'll go ahead and spread this all over the cake. So 
So for the grilled strawberries, preheat the grill to medium-high heat. Thread the fruit through skewers and place them on a rimmed baking tray. In a small bowl, combine melted butter and honey and brush over both sides of the strawberries. This will help them to caramelize and keep them from sticking to the grill. Grill for about two minutes per side or until grill marks form and the fruit is softened. Remove from skewers once they are cool enough to handle and cut any large pieces in half. All right, so the cake is topped with the whipped cream and the grilled strawberries. You wanna make sure to not place the strawberries on too early. I would say no more than an hour ahead of time, otherwise they'll kind of weep into the whipped cream and it'll turn a little bit soggy. There we go. So let me know what you think. Okay. Oh. Look at that strawberry. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> really good. The sweet flavor with the really smoky, charcoaly strawberries is amazing. I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> this recipe truly is perfect for summer, so be sure to give it a try. And the full ingredients will be listed down below, and I can't wait to hear what you think.